That's right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, no face today. I am way too exhausted after being in the hot Florida sun, although it's starting to cool down a little bit. But ladies and gentlemen, destroy the ever-living boo-boo, staying off that like and subscribe button as we talk about a <laughs> a fake as fake can be banless. Some things about this are good. Some things about this are liquid garbage um, because I can't curse in the first minute or so. <laughs> um, but I wanted to talk about it anyway because... Having a ban list come out and being right around the corner is like an early Christmas or, you know, for me, early birthday because my birthday is October 4th. That's coming up. Um, and so I figured it would be fun to at least talk about it because there are some interesting things on this list. And, then of course, there's some things that are just absolute dog water. But we're going to talk about all that more. So I really appreciate all the love and support on the channel. Hope you're having a fantastic day. We're almost at 1,500 subs. So starting off with the pictures that you're seeing on the screen, we got the band limit and semi limited. We'll pop up the unlimits later because it's just kind of whatever, honestly. For the bands, Snake Eyes, Flam, Burge, Dragon. So, huh. Uh... You're going to see in the other hits later that this is just kind of a garbage hit. Um, because hitting Flamberge, as broken of a card as Flamberge is, Flamberge really isn't the issue. Like, if you were to ask people when we got Phantom Nightmare and people read Flamberge Dragon, if you asked them what they thought of the card, everybody would tell you this card is garbage. Um, because without that Snake Eyes engine that we got in Age of Overlord and cards like Ash, Poplar, what have you... Uh, obviously, Poplar was Phantom Nightmare, but it wasn't until that we got everything together that it really became good. Um, but when people first looked at Flamebirds, they said it was garbage. When you put it with all the other Snake Eyes cards, that's when it becomes really good. So banning Flamebirds and not banning Ash, Poplar, or even OSS, as you're seeing on the picture, uh, doesn't do anything. Although now that I think about it, uh, you're already seeing the limit, semi-limit, so I can basically just talk about it all together. Um, Shifter ban. So... Um, I don't know why people are saying this isn't going to happen. It should happen, and I think it will happen. People like Robbie Cole, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm Cole 40. I love that you let me work on your outro and put the sound effects and stuff in it, but you've become fucking word salad. You say that Shifter is, like, good for the game, and, like, people have been saying for it to go to two. I'm not seeing where people are saying for it to go to two. I, I don't know what you're on, bro, but I think you're losing your touch, man. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to hate on Robbie Cole. He's a cool dude, but I'm just, like... You, you don't go to regionals and YCSs, bro. Like, I don't know where you get your testing from, but, like, Shifter is an inherently badly designed card. And I'm sure that people are going to make the argument, well, just play a deck that doesn't lose to Shifter. Okay, let me play my Table 500 Flunder deck and just go 0-5 drop because Flunder bricks on itself and it's garbage. Like... Pretty much every deck in the game revolves around the graveyard. Hell, Runic Stun, to an extent, revolves around the graveyard because you want your Runic Spells in the grave. So it, it cuts both ways. And then when you have a deck like Tempai that can play upwards of over 20 hand traps in the OCG, they're playing like 25, 26 main deck hand traps because they've got 6 Mold Charmy plus 3 Max C, it's, it's not good design. It's really not. And putting it to 2 here in the TCG, that's what the OCG did. That's such a fucking OCG thing. Like that, that The card needs to go. Um, Albion, it's a great hit. Uh, again, I saw the M. Cole 40's video about it. That's how I saw this balance. And he's like, Brandon's on life support. I'm like, that doesn't fucking matter. Like, uh, I had to make a video about this because I, I watched M. Cole 40 talk about it. And I got so floored because it's like, bro, like you're either baiting or... Or you just don't know what you're talking about. Like, even though Brandon may be on quote-unquote life support to some people, you mean to tell me that a deck that can gimmick puppet lock you out of the fucking ball game, and that's just how they win? If you lose the dice roll, then you're crapping your pants? Especially if you decided to go with the board breakers instead of hand traps, because that's how you beat Snake Eye, and then you get screwed over because you play the one Brandon dude in the room? No, Albion needs to go. Um, King Calamity, uh, it's a great hit. It needs to go. Beatrice, same thing, needs to go. Um, I've seen a lot of different things. I've seen some people say you don't need to hit Apo. I've seen some people say hit IP Mascarena instead. I think Apo is fine. Um, I don't know why this ruffles so many people's jimmies, but like, I think Apo's fine. I mean, obviously, in the context for me, when I was playing Tempai, it wasn't a big deal because you just went Sang and Summoning and then you turned off the Apo. Or it was like a 1600 attack Apo. Yeah, hell, even if it was 2400 and you went Summon Pydra effect and they negate, you're like, okay, cool. Run it over with the Pydra. And if you have Sang and Kaiman, you just win. So, I don't know. I, I really, I see the argument for it, but like, if Apo's not on the list and OSS is instead, like, I'm happy. 
Uh, that's why I think that the Flamberge thing is just not a good hit. Uh, let me pull up the other image here on my end. So, limited, we have Dark Beckoning Beast. Um, so, obviously, you see Spirit Gates on here, which I think is actually a pretty good hit. I think Nightmare Throne could also potentially go to one. Um, but Beckoning Beast is usually only played as a one of anyway because... You could get hit by Droll, and then you're crapping all over the menu floor. So, like, whatever. Snake Eye Ash to one. <laughs> this doesn't fucking do anything. I don't know why people... Like, maybe the person who made this fake balance was just trolling by saying put Snake Eye Ash to one. But, like, either people are smooth brain, or they need to go touch grass like I did during my jog today. Like, <laughs> Snake Eye Ash to one doesn't mean anything. When we have Fiendsmith cards, and after Rage of the Abyss, we have the Azamina cards. Uh, a Rise Heart to one, the, this person's either trolling or coping. It don't matter. That card's not coming back. Heavy Storm to one. So I could see this. Because keep in mind, in the OCG, they have Heavy Storm back. Um, and I think it honestly would be really fun to have Heavy Storm back. Mark my words, if they reveal Heavy Storm to be in the Megatons... Before we get the list, then it's all but confirmed that Heavy Storm is going to be on the ban list, or rather it's going to be on the limited section. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they dropped the list, and then right after that they said, hey guys, Heavy Storm is uh, going to be in the tins. That would be a really nice way to put that in there. Or you put it in as a QCR and Quarter Century Bonanza. I'd get myself a QCR Heavy Storm. That would look cute. It looks sexy, actually. Um, Pot of Prosperity to one. Um, it's still a good card. I don't know why people are saying it's not a good card. The decks that don't play Prosperity, probably because they don't need Prosperity. Can you tell that I, I'm very heated from M. Cole 40's discussion about this. He's like, Pot of Prosperity is not a good card anymore. Oh, it makes the tumors in my brain grow. Anyway, I'm going to shut up now. Cross out Designator to 1. So as you can see on the semi-limit section, um, Gamma's at 2. So putting Cross out to 1 really doesn't matter. But ignoring that hot take, um, I don't think it's time for Cross out to go to 1 yet. It may eventually happen. But I don't think it's going to happen just yet. Uh, we kind of already talked about Spirit Gates. Um, I do think you Bell needs some kind of hit. Um, maybe like Nightmare Throne to one. Because I, I don't really feel like that kills the deck. But see, the thing is that depending on how you open with you Bell, the deck pretty much does die to Ash Imperm. Which is speaking for a lot uh, compared to a deck like Snake Eyes where you kind of need four or five hand traps with the Fiendsmith engine. Like, let's be real. Again, it depends on how you open in you Bell. But like... If you don't open up, like, two dead fiends in your hand to make a phantom of your bell, an ash, an, an ash plus imperm kind of ruins your day. Um, premature burial. So, it doesn't seem that broken, right? Like, I guess it could come back, but uh, you, then you're playing in a game with one monster reborn, one premature burial... I don't know, man. I mean, I think it's better than bringing Monster Born to two. That'll be the day. Uh, and then Scale Drain to one. Scale Drain needs to be banned. I don't know uh, what people are on with that. That just doesn't make any sense to me. Um, Skill Drain, it, it's similar like what we saw with Mystic Mine. Uh, when all of the meta decks started playing Mystic Mine, Mystic Mine got banned. Um, and I think that's going to be the case now with Skill Drain, especially since decks like White Forest can play it and just get rid of it for cost, and then they can just ignore it. You know, Dia Bellstar or the Black Witch can send the skill drain. OSS can send the skill drain. Your stuff's back online. Anyway, um, semi limited. Uh, Dark Greffer to two. Um, Dark Greffer is a very broken card. I don't know why this person thinks whatever troll made this balanced. I don't know why they would think that Dark Greffer is okay to come to two. Armageddon Knights at two. It hasn't done anything. It's probably going to go to three along with Delicious Memory on our upcoming list. Um, cause that's just how Konami tends to operate whenever they put things from limited to semi, then they usually move it to three on the next list if it didn't do anything. Um, but Greffer can stay where it's at. Uh, Gamma at two? Fuck no. You move Gamma to two, I guarantee you every deck in the ball game will be playing double Gamma, one Delta, one Driver in a, like a 50 to 60 card pile. Like, that's literally what is going to happen. Uh, Gamma needs to stay at one. Have we forgotten how broken Gamma into Driver to make Ass Dragon was? Even though we don't have Baron, it does not matter. Because then they could just release a Synchro that stops Monster Effects. Or you make, like, I don't know, a fucking Draco Berserker of the Tenyi and banish the Nib that they activate. Like, okay, you still lose the board, but, like, you got a card out of their hand, I guess. Maybe you got Talents. I don't know. It No, a Gamma don't need to come back. I know that sounds bad with the Draco Berserker, but it's like... That's not something we need in our lives, boys and girls. Um, snatch Steel and Change of Heart to two. Uh, th this this person really wants all the banned cards at three, don't they? Um, change of Heart to two, I think, is fine. We see it at Master Shits, even though that doesn't really mean anything. But usually when they move things in Master Shits and the OCG, because OCG has two Change of Heart, they usually bring it here to the TCG. 
but snatch steal the two with one prima th no you could almost make a full going second deck of just spells and traps maybe a couple monsters here and there that is just meant to like take control of the opponent's monsters like could you imagine that like we have three mind control that's not out of the question um and then call by the grave to two it doesn't make any fucking sense honestly because you put cross out to one and then you still have three talents like uh, no that that's where i feel like the list kind of falls apart for me is like the semi-limit section and then also the unlimits uh holy balls so the armageddon knight thing is whatever uh monkey board and kieran is whatever um the dragon rulers are whatever i honestly think the dragon rulers could come back to three and i think it's fine um, I really can't think of any way that the Dragon Rulers could possibly be busted in 2024. We don't have Dark Matter Dragon, and making a Master of Blades in 2024 rank 7 exceed, okay, maybe you'll make your table 400 opponent crap their pants, but you're not going to make your boy at table 1 crap his pants. Um, Panker Tops at 3, I think would be great, honestly. It helps going second, and like outside of Tempai, you really can't go second. So I think having Panker Tops at 3 would be great. Um, finally, the last thing here, uh, Misk, no, God, no, um, Misk at any number higher than one becomes such a broken card that does not incentivize interaction. Um, you basically are forced to play a card like Cyframe Gear Gamma or hope that you open up the shifter, which is now banned on this fucking list. <laughs> so uh, this person must really like dinos and dragon rulers, I guess, but, um, they need, I like what one person commented on Robbie Cole's video, and it was like, Misket 1 is fine. What they need to do is release more dino support that incentivizes interaction so that you're not ending up with cards like Miscellaneous Aerosaurus. Like, Misk is inherently bad card design. Like, the card could be banned, and I don't think anybody would be upset. Obviously, the two dino players in the world would be, but sorry, Sugar Boo Bear. Like... It, it died for our sins, I guess. I don't know. Um, but anyway, I, I just think that this list is... It's really cool in some ways. I don't think the snake eye hits are enough. A rise heart coming back. I'll be reborn as Jesus Christ before that comes back. <laughs> um, and I, I think the other stuff overall is fine. Like, Greffer's kind of whatever. Like, that that don't need to come back. Um, people were kind of crapping their pants in, like, the comment section of uh, M. Cole 40's video about Kieran and Monkey Board. And I'm like... If you're losing to Pendulum, you need to just play a different deck. Like, Pendulum is garbage. So, guys, let me know what you think about this ban list. Was there anything that I missed? Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.